when I'm on the radio. I'm supposed to call you, but I don't know what to say at all. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Plan with Ivy. My name is Ivy, and today is going to be an art video, which I'm so excited about. And today, I'm going to be turning my favorite songs into art pieces. So this is something that I've had on my mind for a while, mainly because I love music. I'm obsessed with so many artists right now and so many songs right now that I just had to like do something with all the stuff that I'm listening to. So I decided to turn them into art. And right now I am covering the page with water because this is going to be watercolor art because I'm trying to be better at watercolor painting just because it is a new medium for me, so I am still trying to learn it. So for all the people out there who are watercolor experts, please don't come for me. This is I know this is probably not the right technique, but I'm still learning. So this is from what I know the wet on wet technique. So basically you wet the page first and it helps make a more blurred effect, which is kind of what I was going for. And the first song that I'm going to be making a background for is Speechless from the new Aladdin movie. I watched it a few weeks ago with my parents and I am obsessed with it. I loved it so much. I really didn't watch the cartoon version growing up. I mostly watched like, uh, what are some other ones I watch? I don't even know what Disney movies I watch. Like Lilo and Stitch, Lilo and Stitch I loved watching when I was little. And then some of the more classic uh, Disney princess movies, I watched those, but Aladdin wasn't one of them, and so I didn't have too many expectations going into the movie. All I did know, and I was a little skeptical of Will Smith as the genie, just because it, it is a hard act to follow. He did have to, like, go follow in Robin Williams' footsteps, R.I.P. Robin Williams, and so he did have a lot to live up to, but I think he did a great job. And I love the movie overall, and I was so happy to see Naomi Scott up there as Jasmine because I loved her from not only Lemonade Mouth, which is where a lot of people know her from, but I also loved her in Terra Nova, this old TV show that had a lot about dinosaurs and stuff. She starred as one of the main character's children, and I loved her in it. And so she sang Speechless, and so therefore... I wanted to do one of these pieces after Speechless just because I'm obsessed with her and I'm obsessed with that song. And now the second piece that I'm doing here is a more galaxy one that's inspired by this song Stargazing that I heard in Chris Soup's video. I will link her channel down below. She's an introvert like me and she makes amazing content. She did like this amazing room makeover where she turned her room into a like galaxy room so during the day it's like white and minimalistic but at night it turns into like a starry night sky and i'm obsessed with what she did with her room and she plays this song in the background and it's so ethereal it's so cool so i just wanted to make something inspired by it and so this is like my first attempt at making like a watercolor galaxy it didn't turn out exactly the way i wanted it to i'm still learning with watercolor i didn't look up a tutorial really for this i just basically like looked up some watercolor techniques and tried to figure it out as I go along. But I still like the way this turned out because I think it turned out really cute. I did have like a pink base at the bottom and it did show through the purple more than I expected it to. But overall, I think this did turn out really cute. I would like to retry this, but that's what this sketchbook that I'm painting in is for. This is my art journal. If you've been on this channel for a while, then you know that I did our journal series like a year back where I did like a whole rainbow series. If you want to check that out, I'll have it in the end card. But I'm still doing a lot of stuff with my art journal just because this is where I practice using different mediums and stuff. And so watercolor is something perfect because watercolor works well on this paper. But I am loving just practicing and trying some new things with art just because I do love making art even though I'm not like an artist that will sell something in stores making art is should always just be fun and something I'm also adding to this artwork is that I am using hand layering on top of it 
And hand lettering is something that I love to do in my planner, so I would love to bring it to art. And especially this stargazing hand lettering that I'm doing right now is some of my favorite hand lettering that I've ever done because it turned out so clean and so good. I'm obsessed with it. I am so happy that I learned to draw a curse to write in cursive when I was in elementary school. Not many people teach it nowadays, and it makes me so sad because it's such a good skill to have. And it helps make hand lettering so much easier. So I love the way this one turned out. And then the final one that I'm doing here is based on the song Symphony by Clean Bandit featuring Zara Larson. And that song is now in my top 25 most played on my iTunes account. Just because I listen to it so, so, so much. It just makes me so happy listening to that song. It's just so well done and I love it so much. I've watched the music video for it multiple times. I have like its own music video that I play in my head all the time. It just, it's just so good. It's just so, so good. And so like for this one, I love the warm colors of it. I was trying to make it more like a curtain. I did like more like long sweeping strokes with this one so it was like more I don't know what the word for it it's like more line work instead of like blending it together it's not as blobby it's just like a whole bunch of lines and I think it made the red part of this turn out more like a curtain I think it turned out really really cute and again if you have any tips for me as a beginner watercolor artist please let me know in a comment down below because I would love any tips you guys can give, especially when it comes to blending the colors, because sometimes I do feel like the colors didn't blend as perfectly as they could have. I did mix up some of the colors to the side just so I have like a transition shade to work with, but again, I'm still learning, so any advice that you guys can give, I will gladly accept just because this is something that I want to play with more in the future. I feel like I can even make some art prints out of it. Because that's one of the other fun things with watercolor. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just knowing more of the techniques makes it look more clean. And that's something that I really do want to work on. And, oh my god, I'm looking at this going right now, and it turned out, it looks so good. I love adding, like, the saturation to the watercolor just to make it more bright. And I actually used my ring light for the lighting for this video, and it actually made it so I didn't really have to edit the footage at all. Like, the colors that you're seeing on the screen are pretty much the colors that I was seeing in real life. And that makes me so happy as a YouTuber because that means I don't have to put any extra hours into editing this video. And uh, this hand lettering I'm doing here is also very simple. Basically, I just wrote the word as I usually do. But I added downstrokes to the downstrokes of the word. And so that just makes it look way more fancy than it actually is. And if you're just starting out with hand lettering, I could do like a hand, whole hand lettering tutorial if you guys want me to. Just like adding these down strokes makes your letters look so much more fancy than they actually are. And this turned out awesome. I am so happy with the way all these turned out. And here's the final look. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to see more of these talk through art videos or more talk through videos in general, don't forget to let me know in a comment down below. And until next time, this has been Ivy. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye.